This video lesson is about changing mixed number to improper fraction. So in my video previous lesson, I identified already about the mixed number and improper fraction. And we identified that mixed number has a whole number and a proper fraction written together. And the example are this one. An improper fraction is whose numerators are greater than the denominator. And these are the some example of improper fractions. So let's proceed on, on my video lesson. Steps on changing mixed number to improper fraction. So we have three easy steps. First, multiply the whole number by the denominator. Second, add the product to the numerator. And last, the sum will be the numerator and just copy the denominator. So let's try. So I have here 3 and 1 fourth. On the first step, multiply the whole number by the denominator but before we're going to multiply just identify the whole number and the denominator on the number sentence or the on the mixed number so the whole number on this mixed number is the number three and the denominator of this is number four so let's do the multiplication 3 multiplied by 4 it will give us 12 let's proceed to the step 2 add the product to the numerator so let's first identify where is the product and the numerator so the numerator is always on the top of the fraction and on our example, the numerator is number 1. And the product on the step 1 uh, give us the number 12. So in this step 2, we're just going to add. So 12 plus 1, it will give us a 13. So let's proceed to number 3. The sum will be the numerator and just copy the denominator. As we all know, the sum is the answer on the addition. So in this, 13 is the sum. And the denominator on our mixed number is number 4. So in this step, we just identify where is the sum in the denominator and the sum will be the numerator and located on the top of the fraction so the answer is 13 over 4 13 is the numerator and the sum of the addition and the denominator we just copied on the previous fraction so the answer is 13 over 4. So that 3 and 1 fourth is equivalent to 13 over 4. Let's try another. So I have here 6, 7 over 10. So first, we're going to identify the whole number and the denominator on the mixed number. So the whole number on this mixed number is 6 and the denominator is 10. So we're just going to multiply it. 6 times 10, it will give us 60. Step 2, add the product to the numerator. So the numerator on the mixed number is 7. And the product on our 
first step is 60. So we're just going to add this to 60 plus 7, it will give us 67. And just proceed to step 3. So this sum will be the numerator and copy the denominator. So let's identify where is the sum and the denominator. So the sum on this addition sentence is 67. And the denominator is 10. So as you can see on the step 3, sum will be the numerator is located on the top and copy the denominator. So the answer is 67 over 10. So that 6, 7 over 10 is it all also equivalent to 67 over 10. So we just change the mixed number to improper fraction. Don't forget in changing mixed number to improper fraction, we have three steps. First, multiply the whole number by the denominator. Second, add the product to the numerator. And number three, the sum will be the numerator and just copy the denominator. Let's try this. I'll give you a two and two third as a mixed number and identify what is the answer of the mixed number to improper fraction. So I'll give you uh, 15 seconds to answer the mixed number to improper fraction. So your 15 seconds starts now. Time is up, so take a look at this of my answer and also to your answer if we have the same answer. So my answer is 8 over 3. Do we have the same answer? If we have, congrats, you have learned something today. And thank you. Thank you.